Oh, brother, this guy right here is about to break down below $2. It just did it. What's going on? I got a quick and informative video for you today. FTX folded. It's the second largest exchange behind Binance. They had a liquidity crisis and I caught it all real time, unscripted, let's go. We are watching live. Bitcoin is crashing. I'm going to zoom in on this bad boy. 18,450. It was just around 20,000. I mean, like an hour ago. If I go back to the five minute chart, obviously this is kind of a train wreck. You'll notice this crazy spike this morning and now it's just falling off a cliff. Pretty gnarly chart. That's the four hour. If you go to the daily, right around the 18,000. Now I do know that I was at camp with my son when we hit the low low. And I have a line here for that trend line down around 17,686. We still have around a thousand points to drop before we start contending with that level of support. We'll see what happens. This has been a wild day so far. What's really interesting was to see this strength this morning and then met with just annihilation. I feel like this FTT is just falling off a cliff. And if you remember Terra Luna, this was a stable coin. When it fell, everybody knows what happened. I am in Luna Classic right now, which also is not having a good day with all the rest of crypto. Anybody that has been waiting for some sort of a flash crash, if you look back at the Mt. Gox catastrophe, and I believe it was 2011, early days of crypto, Bitcoin crashed to zero. There has to be a catalyst though for it to happen. Maybe today was the start of a catalyst here with this FTT. This was the first major coin to start falling. If you compare this to Bitcoin, Bitcoin fell after it. FTT is now flirting as we speak with its low of the day. So if this goes lower, what is this going to do to Bitcoin? Is it correlated? When I say Bitcoin, just know I mean all crypto. Bitcoin is just the granddaddy. I've had to use the bathroom now for uh, quite a bit of time. I keep drinking stuff and yeah, I just, I can't walk away. I'm waiting for this to go underneath $7 and keep falling. And then I'm going to flip back over to Bitcoin and we should see this thing follow suit. I just need this price action to prove this theory. 635, 632. Ooh, this thing could just give it up here. There it goes. New low of the day. The $6 mark, if this breaks into the fives, look out below. It's a pretty big psychological price point. So if it goes below six, it's going to be racing down to five. Now it is down in the fives. Okay, 595, 594, 585. Yep, falling off a cliff. Let's check out Bitcoin. It is following FTT. Bitcoin is now going to go lower into the 18 fours. I'm not Nostradamus. I shouldn't be able to predict this stuff, but I'm telling you, it is following FTT. If FTT loses five, see you bye. Oh, woof. that's hard to look at. Oh man, I really want to keep watching this, but I've got a sales call in five minutes. There it is, 480. And it's a new day. I figured I would start filming right as Bitcoin seems to be losing 17,000. So FTT has given up the $4 range and now is at 383. And now all of crypto over the past 24 hours is looking fugly. I keep drawing lines, keeps going under them, as my son would say, bruh, I'm gone for one hour doing a marketing support call. This happens. Bitcoin down 16,453. And then FTT got all the way down into the twos, y'all. <laughs> This level of support in this wedge is now acting as resistance if we ever get back to this. Whew, when's the last time we were here? November 30th of 2020, since we've been here with Bitcoin. The next level of support is down around 13,800. We're at 16,500. We got a ways to go to get there. So let's see what happens. Dang, son. I just checked out the chart to see how Luna Classic was faring with all the other carnage and tons of Hulk candles. I don't know what's going on here, but I like it. Hey, what's going on? You're looking good. So this chart has gotten worse over the last couple of hours. Leading this crypto dump, I've got a great post 
in the description from Howard Lindzen. He runs Stock Twits. It's Twitter for stocks. Oh, snap, what's happening? That's a nice red candle. Jeepers, creepers. I see no indication that it's going to bounce. This is Terra Luna all over again. We're watching it happen. I don't want to make light of this. I know that there are a lot of people invested in this. I saw stories today about Tom Brady and Giselle being invested in FTX, which is represented by FTT here. What you're watching could be the catalyst for what a lot of people refer to as the wealth transfer. I really want to make this video. I want to stop recording and actually build this thing for y'all because I think it's relevant, but daggone, I can't stop. Bitcoin is now making new lows, 15,700, 15,600 now. This is just absolute bonkers. Hey, what's going on? If you're wondering what platform I'm using to watch this carnage unfold, it is KuCoin. I dropped the link below. You can do bot trading. It's a decentralized exchange. Change. They have tons of different coins. You can set limit orders for just about any price point you can think of down into the point zero 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 zero. It looks like Bitcoin is about to fold once again to the low of the day, 15,666. As you can tell, I love everything about the stock market, crypto market. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Peace.